In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 10 options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added the headline here. And then when I click, the each option will pop up now. So when I click, you can see here, it will show you the first option. You can add any rectangle uh, box with some different design and the icon. And on the top, you can add the title and the detailed text. When I click with a different color combination, comes the second option, the third, fourth, fifth option sixth seven eighth ninth and tenth so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose this uh, rectangle top corner rounded. Draw something like this. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then go to rotate, rotate right 90 degrees. And make sure to enable the guide so that we know exactly in the center we need to place this. So I'm just going to put this in the center and make sure this one to make it fully curve by dragging this orange point towards the inside so then depending on your requirement you can increase the width and the height so i'm um, let me just increase the height and the width both and make sure that this is in the center now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give a different color for this all right and then again i'm going to reduce the size you can see here i can just reduce the size all right and again make sure that it is center aligned i can just reduce the height further all right and make sure that this is aligned to center now uh, this particular uh, shape now i'm going to cut into 10 equal parts for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle i'm going to start the rectangle here all right shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give some different color then i'm going to hold the control shift key i'm going to add one more here sorry hold the control shift key and drag it and release it again hold the control shift key drag it and release it and to make sure that equal spacing between given between this one select these three lines go to align distribute horizontally all right once this is done i'm going to duplicate once again and then i'm going to rotate and here i'm going to put it exactly in the center and increase the width can you see here something like this and make sure that this should be always should go beyond this uh, rectangle all right now i'm going to add two more rectangles so select this one press ctrl d to duplicate i can reduce the size and i'm going to rotate it by holding the alt and the right arrow key you can see here and i'm going to put it like this maybe one more all right you can see here if it is too much you can just again align it properly again i think this is okay i believe and again make sure let me just give some different color all right make sure that this is touching this one all right again press ctrl d and here i'm going to make it something like this here now again one more alt and the right arrow key and it should be like this all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold the first of all select this shape only this rectangle i'm not going to select this rectangle remember that so i'm going to select this rectangle hold the shift key select this one two three four five and six all these six small rectangles remember that i have not selected the center one okay then go to the shape format merge shape and just say fragment and then i'm just going to delete all these things which i don't need you can see here i'm just deleting again from the center also i'm deleting and here also let me just delete 
I end up getting a shape something like this now this particular uh, shape I'm going to make this with white and go to the shape format go to the effects shadow and I'm going to give some shadow effect so depending on the requirement whichever shadow effect you want to give you can just select the shadows you can see here let me just give uh, maybe uh, this shadow which is the bottom all right and then you can increase the distance all right and make sure it is more blur all right so now once this is done you can give a different color combination for this you can remember that this is all different okay rectang uh, rectangles here all right now let me just give some random colors here so i'm just going to shape fill you can just choose any color of your choice i'm just giving some random colors here which i have used before you can see here i'm just giving any color of your choice you can give and depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these uh, options as well so you can see here let me just select this one and done so the color selection is done now i'm going to insert icons again this is not uh, mandatory but if you are using some latest version of powerpoint uh, you can add these icons so randomly i'm just selecting some icons here you can see here so i need 10 click insert move this here and then i'm going to make it 2.7 all right and then i'm just randomly i'm just putting the icons on each of these you can see here like this and let me just put it quickly all right so now the icons have been added now i'm just going to select the icons by holding the shift key and then once this is done what you need to do is you have to go and uh, make the graphic fill to white all right then i'm going to select these options and press ctrl g to group it you have to do it one by one select these shapes select this one hold the shift key and select this one and group it you can see here i'm just going to group one by one all right and once this is done i'm going to select <coughs> sorry i'm going to select this one and bring to front okay bring to front so i end up getting a design like this now once this is done you can go to insert text box you can add the title center align make it bold you can use the same color what the color you have used for this all right and then you can go to insert text box you can add detail text here center align reduce the size and put it in the center and select both of this and press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to add one by one like this and here hold the ctrl shift key and bring it down and you can align it later on so again here also i'm just adding for this ctrl d for this and the last one for this all right so you can see here i've added all the uh, text here then i'm going to do a basic animation and before that one go to insert text box you can add the headline here again increase the size all right if you want you can just change the color any color of your choice or you can make it gray also and then exactly put it in the center or if you want you can just put it here also then let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select this one add animation more intense effects i'm going to select peek in 
and click ok and for this animation add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select stretch click ok and stretch make it from the bottom and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this so now using the animation painter i'm just clicking on this one then select this text click on the animation painter and select this one here so now i'm going to select this one and this one here again i'm selecting this you can see here you can just add the same animation effect so now for this so here instead of from the bottom i'm going to make it from left okay so it comes like this and then this one also instead of bottom you have to make it from left all right so like this you have to just add the animation effect so if i play you can see here it comes something like this one by one all right so just you can add the same animation effect for example if you want to add for this one example i'm just saying here you should always say from top here all right and for this also if i click it here it has to be from top so just follow the same animation for the rest of the below options